All right, so this file is called sans serif, and we're going to do the same thing we just did in that serif typeface um, assignment, but this time we're going to choose only serif typefaces. So if we come to select the first word, we're going to again go to our type menu, our font menu, and we're going to scroll through and we're going to find different types that are sans serif. Now remember, sans serif typefaces do not have any curls. Remember, sans serif means without curls in French. So I'm going to go through, I'm only going to look for typefaces that are fairly straight up and down, fairly blocky on the ends. I'm not going to choose anything that is um, curly crude at the end, so this one or this one. And don't worry, this one would, um, technically this one would be called a slab sans serif, but that's fine. Um, don't worry about that. So I'm going to scroll down some more. You'll see that there's some that are actually not letter formations. They're, they're, um, so I'm going to choose Palantino. Oh, that doesn't matter. That's not good. That's a serif font. So let's go to the next one. Let's see. Where's another good? Here's a good one. Um, he knows that some of the um, fonts are using different um, spacing. That's perfectly fine. All right, so go ahead and save this as your last name, and you'll submit this to the e-learning Dropbox.